Hi guys, it's Blackie. Okay, today I'd like to talk about a replica that I would like to see. Okay, maybe in a limited run, whatever. But to me, it would be a real fun gun. Now, among these fun guns that you're familiar with, is you know the guns that were used in the Spaghetti Western, the Clint Eastwood one with the the uh, the snake on the grip and things like that. Those are guns that have come out over the years. Well, the original two-room gun that became the 1860 Army, that is something I'd like to see. And what is it based on? It, today, it'd be easy to do because it's based on a gun that's in production but never existed in history, and that is the 44 caliber 51 Navy. There was no such thing. Yes, there was, Blackie. No, there wasn't. Let me explain that. At the time of the we will say the early 1850s 44 caliber was a dragoon caliber okay and because of that if you needed that kind of power it was a dragoon pistol it was either the, the walker or any of the dragoon models so that was the 44s the belt guns were the 51 navies in 36 caliber and this is an actual Colt 51 navy 36 caliber and so this was the belt gun. This was carry on you gun. Those big 44s were horse pistols and weren't meant to be carried on your belt. We're wearing them on a saddle up front or whatever. That's a war weapon. Why do you want to carry a machine gun on your hip? You know, my mindset for today. But what they want to know was, could you, and this was in the 1858, 1859, somewhere along in there, question was could you make this shoot the 44 caliber and so what Colt them did and they made one and I will try to put a picture up of the prototype from the Colt factory now what they did was they took a 51 Navy and they took and made a bigger cylinder. They came down here on the frame and they cut out this section, milled it out so there's more clearance for the rebated cylinder. As you can see here, this one is rebated, which means it's thicker up here at the front. And then they took a 51 barrel blank, bored it for 44 caliber, rifled it, but they knew that the streamlining design was on the horizon. And that means like the 1860 Army has that streamlined barrel. It's not octagon, it's smooth and flowing. So to keep with that sight picture, they took the octagonal barrel of the 51 Navy and the top of the barrel is rounded over. So the sight picture would be the same, what we would later come to know in the 1860 Army. So here's what the replica I would love to see. I would love to see a steel frame 44 caliber 51 Navy and all they've got to do is round this top off So it's got that that look the bottom half of the barrel is left octagon The top of the barrel is round so it's half octagon half round That antique to look like an old tool room model that snuck out would be the prototype of the 1860 and that would be a very cool gun I would love to have a gun like that for my collection now I have thought about how hard would it be, because you know I've tinkered with guns before. How hard would it be to take a steel frame, because I'd want it in steel. There's nothing wrong with the brass, but aesthetics, because I want to antique it. I want to make it look like an old original. I want to take a 44 caliber, 51 Navy steel frame, defarb it, and then round that over. Now I could just file it all the way. It'd be a lot of work. Remove that front sight and then streamline that top barrel band. Just round it over the full length or get a machinist and a milling machine to do it and put it back together. That would make it. And then antique the whole thing. Make it look like a, like I said, a tool room model that snuck out. That would be cool. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Just want to share this with you guys. So, if you enjoyed the video, please leave any questions or comments down below. 
And do me a favor, hit that like, share, and subscribe button before you go. Till next time, I'm Blackie, wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys. Okay, turn off.